As the number of people getting COVID vaccines continues to decline, a Chesapeake man asked people on the fence to consider getting the shot to protect those like his mom, a cancer survivor, and emergency room nurse who is now dying from COVID-19. I sat down with him this morning. My mom was, in my opinion, of course, the greatest person in the world. Just eight months ago, Zach Gibson and his mom Marie were dancing at his wedding. Later today, he'll kiss her goodbye for the last time. Everybody always says that God has a plan. Um, I wish his plan was different. 58-year-old Marie was an ER nurse with Bon Secours for as long as Zach can remember. Being a nurse, she, she cared about everybody. She'd help everybody with pretty much anything they could possibly need. Even when it put her own health at risk. You see, Marie was diagnosed with breast cancer last June. She successfully endured eight months of chemotherapy and surgery and returned to work in mid-March. She caught COVID two weeks later. Her immune system was you know, still building back up. It was better, but obviously not 100% like it used to be. Marie has been on a ventilator now for five weeks. With such a low chance of her ever coming off the ventilator and living somewhat of a normal life is, it, I mean, it's such a low chance that we, we think it's the right decision to go ahead and end the suffering that she's going through right now. Zach isn't one to show emotion or presume to tell anyone what to do. It's your choice whether or not you want to get the vaccine, but at the same time, it's something so simple that can save lives. So, so he urges the unvaccinated to consider the potential cost to others. It's definitely very, very difficult. And I, I mean, I wouldn't want anybody else to go through this. It's devastating. A situation no 24 year old is prepared to take on, but one he's forced to confront, taking some comfort in his mom's faith. She was a very religious person, so she's got good things waiting on the other side. A GoFundMe account was set up to help Marie's sons pay hospital bills and the mortgage. I'm told that she had planned to move out of her home in a couple of years and have Zach and his wife move in to raise a family when they're ready. They are trying to keep that dream alive. I put a link to the fund on wavy.com.